Hi everyone. I hope you are having great day today and welcome back to Apple JR YouTube channel. On this video, I'm gonna show you eSign new version, install IPA files on EOS easily with eSign update. As you know, it is very difficult to install IPA files on iPhone because you often get revoked if you use eSign, Scarlet, or other sideloaded applications. This trick works for all iOS versions, including the latest EOS 18. Here I am trying to install eSign on iOS 18 and my iPhone 14 Pro. I will prove that this design works for all devices, including iPad. Please open this website on Safari browser. After that, click Install DNS Profile. After Profile downloaded, go to Settings, then click Profile Downloaded. Input the passcode and install. This new DNS will allow you to install eSign even if it's revoked. So you can bypass revoked eSign with this DNS. After that, install eSign app on this website. Make sure you click on the three designs that have bold text in their descriptions. Please try installing all three at once. Then you will know which design will work on your device. If you see unable to install, it means eSign not working. But if you see untrusted developer, eSign work on your device. If you have successfully installed more than one eSign, please only use one eSign. I will delete the other eSigns and only have one eSign left to use. Then verify the eSign on Settings. General, VPN and Device Management, and click Trust. If you're using iOS 18, you must restart your device to allow and trust the assign. If you're using lower than iOS 17, you can click Trust without restart. On this case, I'm using iOS 18, so I will restart my device to trust eSign app. When restart the device, input the passcode and eSign has been successfully. And now you can open eSign app. Launch eSign. Then you must import certificate file to install any IP of files on eSign. Go back to the website and download eSign certificate. The assigned cert will automatically saved on Files app. Then open eSign again. Click Import button on the top. Find eSign certificate that you downloaded earlier. And click Unzip. And you will see lots of certificate files in it. You can choose any certificate, but I recommend using the certificate you used before, or you can choose from the top. After that, click and select Import Certificate. And now the certificate has been successfully imported. If you check the certificate, it is in revoked status. But don't worry, with the help of DNS, you can use the revoked certificate to install IPA files. Next, please import IP of files into a sign. Then click Import and go to the Apps menu. Then click Signature on the Apps icon. And finally click Install. Now you have successfully installed the IPA files with the latest eSign, without revoke, without a computer. 
You can install as many IPF files as you want without limits. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel to get more video. See you!